Oh, God. <laughs> Here we are, by popular request. My full reaction to the Metal Jesus Party Weekend. Yes, I've had so many people ask me to react to this fucking video, and I've just been dreading it. Uh, I just, I didn't want to relive this cringe again. Now, I've honestly been putting this one off, but... Yeah, I gotta get this done. I gotta push it out there. We're gonna do the full reaction. I'm gonna watch it from start to finish. I don't think I'm gonna edit out any of the footage or just skip around. I feel like it's just gonna end up taking up more time than it's worth. So we're strapping in for the full ride, the full beach vacation tour. The good, the bad, the ugly. If we have time at the end, we'll uh, talk about the GameCube debacle too. Otherwise, we can make a part two regarding that. We'll, we'll see how much... We'll see how much groundwork we get done in this video, I guess we'll say. But here we go. This is my full uncensored unbridled opinions about the metal jesus party weekend <laughs> i can't even say that without laughing this is gonna be bad okay here we go metal jesus here now in the past you know i've thrown parties at my house and invited all my friends over drink beer play games hang out have fun drink beer i'm going big i've actually rented a beach house in oregon invited a bunch of my friends uh. over for five nights let's take a look Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do have to skip over the intro, I suppose. Because, uh, but, <laughs> yeah, five, five Nights at Freddy's, everybody. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, starting off with our old pal, DMP. That's uh, Drunken Monster, Drunken Master Paul. Drunken Master Paul here, who, yeah, looks very hungover, as always. I don't know why this man cannot ever seem to open his eyes, but... <laughs> Yeah, far be it for me to question things like that. Thoroughly on a Thursday, well, you and I know there can only be one reason, and that would be the Metal Jesus. <laughs> All his fault, I blame him, and he's buying me coffee. Yeah, you're gonna need that coffee. I think he had a rough night. Seriously, <laughs> why does he not open up his eyes? It's the most distracting thing. Oh, that's that's so weird. The really good reason I'm up so it's like Brock from Pokemon. He and I are gonna meet up. We're going on an epic road trip down to a beach house in Oregon where we're going to meet the entire Metal Jesus crew and hang out for about five days or six months depending on if the eclipse turns everyone into zombies. Oh hey guys, god ready? okay yeah so <laughs> I mean, okay DMP uh, there, there's worse cringe to talk about we're not even going to get into that but here's Radical Reginald here who seems to be yeah it's a little jarring he's the only one in this video who did not get or did not drive themselves down to Oregon, Oregon, because I can only imagine it's because his yeah car is too much of a crumpled piece of crap to take the trip. He, he doesn't trust he doesn't trust this car well enough to take him there, which makes me wonder why he trusts this road, this car on the road. You know, endangering people's lives in general. If it's you know not going to take you <laughs> take you where you need to go, get you know ditch this fucking car. You know, maybe sell off a couple video games, buy a better one, but. You know, far be it for me to question you on people's life decisions, right? Yeah, people get really upset ab about that, I guess. But, yeah, we also, yeah, that, so that's, MJR's wife had to give Radical Reggie a ride, and she's not riding with MJR for some reason. I can only imagine that this is because, you know, unlike most of this Metal Jesus crew, she actually does have a functioning job in real life apparently she works in real estate so she actually you know has an adult job and you know pulls her weight in life which hey good for her for that uh actually i don't even know why i'm mentioning this here this is super off topic but if you actually scroll back on metal jesus rocks youtube channel the ve the very first video he ever had uploaded was him and her uh playing some kind of like terrible terrible rock cover and, oh yeah, MJR is just being full MJR in the worst way in that video, making it cr cringy and awkward as fuck. But, like, her, she actually looked like she was killing it on the drums. Like, she actually has some musical talent, so so that's pretty cool, I guess. But, yeah, hey, Reggie. I am here with Miss Metal Jesus. <laughs> and we are on our way. The phony so smile. We're doing, house and party. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're doing a Metal Jesus crew weekend. It's yeah. cool. Something we we kind of been wanting to do for a couple years now uh, yeah. since uh, we haven't done a party in a while. So <laughs> this is a way for us all to get out and just have a good time. Trunk and Master Paul's gonna be there. Oh yeah. Kelsey's gonna be there. <laughs> and uh, Anna's gonna be there as well. So I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, um, <laughs> so we're heading down to Oregon. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a party. To show you, so party. Hey guys, Kinsey here, and I'm. Oh great, Kinsey. Metal Jesus Rocks party weekend in Oregon. 
Kinsley's gonna get a little too drunk, and there's gonna be a, a game, an, an incident involving MJR's GameCube, which he's gonna be very distraught about. Also, I've had some people tell me, like, she's actually cool, this chick. I, I've never seen this chick. I've only seen her in one other MJR video ever. She's, like, a total unknown to me. The only other video she ever appeared in, as far as I know, I mean, I, mean, I can't claim to have seen nearly every single one, but she appeared in the there's a video where mjr was going around asking everybody in the crew what their most expensive game was i think it was that one where i seen her but if i hadn't seen that video i wouldn't even know who the hell she was honestly does she actually show up in a decent amount of mjr stuff let me know i barely know who this chick is so yeah li literally everybody is driving on their own except for reggie here <laughs> Burrito time. Yeah, Kelsey is weirdly oh, super boring throughout this whole video too, I gotta say. Oregon. That's a really small town on the Oregon coast. And we pull oh, up look at to that. the beach house. And oh my, <laughs> this place is amazing. Actually look it does look pretty cool. Thing. It is so nice. Look at that view right out to the beach. Such a beautiful day. When we walk in <laughs> here, I just couldn't be happier. I didn't know what I was getting into when I first rented this place. I was hoping it was going to be cool, so, but I had... No what does he mean by that? He didn't know what he was getting into. Like, when you rent out a home or a place or anything, like, you always get images of it online. I don't know what the hell he means by that. Like, he didn't know what he was getting into. He, I think he, he says that, like, twice throughout this video. I'm like, dude, <laughs> that that's not really how this works in my experience. Okay, you don't just rent a place or you know stay at a place and you don't you have no idea what it looks like that doesn't generally happen as far as i know i don't, I don't know what the hell he means by that anywho no idea this is the top floor here as you can see it's a kitchen there's <laughs> some drunk dude there i don't know i guess he comes to the place it's the only mgr so joke that's ever lunch, kind of landed <laughs> it's actually fairly Huge funny living room a bunch of really cool little touches here and there of course, we started unpacking some of the things we brought. Some <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, the booze. It's, yeah, it's the only thing that matters. That and the video games, of course. Yeah, God, a bunch of alcoholics. Booze. Booze. We brought a bunch of snacks as well. <laughs> yep, then, yep. junk food as well. You gotta have the junk food. And again, I had no idea what I was getting into when I rented this place. Yeah, how did you have no idea? Down here, it's a whole other suite. Whole kitchen whole living room there's two bedrooms down here there's a huge backyard <laughs> i was so happy because again i invited most of the metal jesus crew down here so i knew we would all fit speaking of people <laughs> are starting to arrive hey what's going on oh yeah now it's a, now it's a party <laughs> reggie's gonna mope in the corner plays psp Yeah, why would you bring your 3DS, dude? Does he not play it on... <laughs> yeah, bring a single-player game device. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, no, you could play multiplayer. Who the fuck is playing multiplayer on a 3DS? Not not these guys. Yeah, PS4. Yeah, what do you say? He brought his PlayStation 4 controller, which, yeah, again... PlayStation 4, nobody plays multiplayer games, home local multiplayer games on a PS4. That That's never what you really... Sony systems, you don't really play more than two-player on, in my experience. The grand finale. The snow cone machine that you guys have seen. <laughs> yeah, the essentials, guys, yep. God. Did he say he hadn't used it up until this point? Why the fuck did you buy it then? God. Priorities, man. The snow cone machine. Somebody told me that I, I I missed over this in the apartment tour video I did to him. He has two popcorn machines in his apartment, I was told. Why the fuck do you need two, you lazy fuck? How much popcorn are you eating that you can't get up every time that you're going to make your popcorn? I think he must just live off the stuff. Yeah, popcorn. Yeah, freaking snow cones. Frozen freezer food. Half drunk. <laughs> yeah, half flat sodas. It's a real good diet. <laughs> Boom, there it is, gone. Oh yeah, taking it like a champ. Yeah. Oh, okay, maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Well, okay, I think I 
think you better set uh, a little Reggie. Oh, I got cup ready. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Have that set, set up the DMP one there as well. Oh, I remember eating those orange yeah, crackers when I was a kid. With, uh, <laughs> here, here, with the red Here's to us. Oh, hey, I love this. The there were a few, but now they're dead. Hey, yeah. Okay. Us. DMP Who's cringe. All right. They left already. <laughs> so, yeah, so Reggie just. Yeah, DMP doesn't even flinch, but yeah, Reggie's just suffering. <laughs> I remember the first time I watched this video, that's exactly how what I expected to happen, and it's exactly what did. And yeah, for the record, uh, yeah, Reggie here, if, if somebody sent me a video that's proof that he's actually not a war vet who fought in the army for all those people trying to tell me that he was. Uh, yeah, if you check, there's a video where he's in his game room with his mother. Yes, that's no joke. And he talks about his specific service in the army, and it has nothing to do with combat, too, for the record. So, perfectly fine way to make a living, but quit treating this guy like he fought in Vietnam because he didn't. <laughs> Forget that name of the video. You can find it for yourself. It's the one with his mom in it. I guess, big hint. So, there can't be many of those. Oh, yeah, the creepy. Oh, God, yeah, creeping. Oh, yeah, DMP is pleased. Yep, the chicks are arrived. This would be embarrassing if this wasn't the place. Yay, Anna and Caitlin are here, but we're still waiting for Kelsey and Cody. Oh, God, <laughs> that was a little a awkward. Traffic. Now, you'll notice that, sadly, the immortal John Hancock and also oh. John Riggs, oh, no. they couldn't make it. Oh, no, such a bar that's a sad they shot. hang out with those dudes. Oh. They had prior commitments to their family, <laughs> so they will be missed. Oh, no. So, it's 9 p.m. when you're oh. on the road to Oregon. So God, yeah, so I, I think it's so funny that they all drove down here separately. I mean, there was a lot of traffic. I mean, I guess, I, I'm assuming not everyone is going to stay the five days, but... Dude, if I was, like, going on a vacation or a party with my friends or my, you know, the, the group of people or whatever, I would not be, I, I would not drive separately. Like, that doesn't scream party to me or, like, party weekend. I'm excited for the vacation, mini vacation. So, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing to say about Kelsey in this video. She's so fucking boring, this whole video. She just does not care. But, yeah, that is her husband there for, yeah, all these... Yeah, thirsty mouth breathers commenting on all of MJR's videos and chasing after her and all that shit, thinking that they're gonna get with her. You know, morning, these people thirsting over her. Yeah, guess what? She has a husband, outside, you guys, so. <laughs> but what do gamers do? Well, we have games to play. <laughs> so right off the bat, you will see us playing a ton of games. Oh my god, look at these fucking losers. Okay. <laughs> They have this beautiful, amazing beach house, right? That, yeah, they're talking about this amazing view and how great it looks and all this stuff. This is how they spend it. They spend all day indoors playing video games, okay? You could do this anywhere. You don't need to rent out a beach house to play video games together, first off. Seriously, and, oh my god, look at MJR just feasting. Oh, God, it is a disgusting sight. It's like <laughs> watching an episode of Animal Planet or something. <laughs> oh, God. And yeah, this position with these shorts and that t-shirt does not... It's not very flattering towards this uh, yeah near 50-year-old man as well. I'll say that. That's... I don't know. Gives me this weird vibes. The entire plan. Basically, the entire plan. The entire plan was to rent a beach house that... <laughs> We can just do nothing but play games all day long. As there's this beautiful this beautiful view you're awing about. Yeah, it's just, you no, know, fuck that. Get in front of the TV. Let's see here. Party! They're partying Switch. so hard. I also brought a this is during the day, too. Like, look at the sun through the blinds. And this is how they're spending it. This beautiful view. This wonderful backyard. GameCube. And basically have these set up in both God. So that do not let DMP on the couch with the woman. <laughs> Just fire up and play a you cannot be trusted. I wanted to create an atmosphere where it was just fun to hang out and I don't know, just nerd out for a while. Can't really do that at home? Oh, no? no. All right. No, no, That's. No. Yeah. Right They're playing overcooked, it looks like. And drinking, yeah, okay, you gotta, gotta have the beers. The fake enjoyment in front of the camera. <laughs> yeah, they're having such a good time. Party! No, 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 no
So I guess they're playing multiplayer online between each other. Beach, two switches. And the weather was absolutely glorious. Yeah. As the day went on, As, yeah. you know what, guys? We need to go. I think the and... sun is setting. I think the sun is setting, and they're first getting outside. That's what that looks like to me. Yeah, the beautiful weather. I don't even think the sun out is out anymore. <laughs> And yeah, you also gotta love that they're all wearing their shoes on the beach. Oh, yeah. You know, I seem to recall a Nickelodeon show, Rocket Power, where they would actually, like, they would ream people for this, okay? This was something to be laughed at and uh, ridiculed over. It was wearing shoes on the beach. They called you, uh, what did they call you, shoobies? Yeah, because you're just like, oh, the shoe be the people who wore shoes on the beach were just a bunch of shitty tourists who, like, don't actually know what to, that can't hang, and don't actually know how to relax and have fun. They just, they're a bunch of prudes who wear their shoes on the beach. And everybody put on their sandals, grab the football. Yeah, and yeah like, Richie's, Richie's literally wearing socks out. and shoes. Well, probably a good hour or hour and a half, basically till the sun went down. This yeah, it, it, it looks like it's already going down. Really cool. It was nice to see everyone. Hanging out, talking, goofing off, just having a great time. This oh, yeah. So killer. <laughs> God, DMP. Yeah, look at that. What a sight. And yeah, it's anti-social Reggie's looming off in the distance. Funny too because uh, we'll get a you see a shot of Reggie throwing the football later, and the girls actually know how to throw a football better than he does. Like, <laughs> legit. <laughs> Are she on the? Oh God, she's on her. Is she on her phone? Yeah, yeah, they're on their phones on the beach. Yeah, party, and yeah, fully clothed because yeah, it's not even warm out. Or that warm out. No, DMP is getting molested by a dog. God, oh god, I really hope that's not a hard on in the shorts. I can't tell. I hope that's a belt buckle, dude. Oh god. Yeah, Reggie, all along. I have sand in places. In places I don't want to talk about. Oh. Uh huh. Sand in places I know I had places. I'm gonna saw myself in half walking home. That is the cringiest part of this whole video, just DMP. And yeah, Reggie, get off! Your phone got this whole video this whole this party weekend it brings out the parent vibes of me like i seriously feel like i'm supervising a bunch of children you know because when you're growing up your parents always tell you you got to get outside you can't stay indoors all day long get off your it's enough time on your computer game there's enough time in front of the tv uh go do your homework go outside get some exercise <laughs> these are like 40 50 year old people these are uh, grown adults that yeah oh my goodness Hmm? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Twitter. Uh, Twitter! Yeah! Oh, great. Can't do that anytime. Party! Gotta hose, hose down the dirty, drunk, wet dog. And I'm not talking about the puppy, either. I'm talking about, yeah, this fool. God, this guy's such a clown, seriously. He is... Some people try to tell me that this dude's cool. Or he's legit, but no, I think he's just cringy and weird. He's just this weird, creepy old man whose eyes don't stay open. Ugh, God, stop. Party! Yeah, for the hour and a half they spent outside. I, I don't know if I talked over this part, but they said, MJR said they went outside for an hour and a half. That's all the whole day. That's all the time they spent outside in beautiful Oregon. We woke up the next morning, grabbed <laughs> yep. our switches, and played a back at it again. Of Splatoon two, so much fun. Yeah, oh yeah, you remember the time of your life, are you? I I think this actually is the next day. At first, when I watched this video, I, I thought to myself, well, I wouldn't put it past them if they just used the same footage and pretended like it was the next day just to get all this bullshit filming out of the way. But if you actually look at the cups and the containers and stuff, I think it it, it actually is a different. But as it got closer to noon, we got hungry, so we hopped in the car and caravaned up to a little town Party. called Cannon Beach. It's just north of Manzanita. It's a cute little town that has a brewery that Kinsey wanted to check out. We also grabbed some lunch, headed down get to drunk. the public beach, and checked out some rocks and Fuck well, off. nature stuff. <laughs> That's what the sand will say. Another ad, hooray! God, the party, dude. 
rocking out like only the Metal Jesus crew can. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Reggie again alone in the background just creeping. I think he's playing his 3DS back there. Oh Reggie, oh my god, again on the get off the phone! Or no, is that a Joy-Con? Okay, I think he's actually playing this time. Okay, never mind. Okay, that was unjustified. Hey guys, and justified salt. I'm super excited to be here because we do another Gamer Eats. Not only another Gamer Eats, but we got the Metal Jesus crew together at a beach house in Oregon. I get to make eats for the best gamers on the planet. I swear to God, that guy had to have done drugs. He cannot open his eyes. How does he even see? If I squinted my eyes like that, I wouldn't be able to see fuck all. How did he even drive here? Oh, I love this next shot. Okay, so they're getting these shots from a drone. Which is, hey, at first, when I first saw this uh, video, I didn't notice all this uh, zooming through the town stuff. And I had all these grand ideas, or these hilarious ideas that, like, somebody paid, like, Reggie, like, gave him $20 or some fucking terrible JRPG PlayStation Vita game to go climb up a light pole or a, a billboard to get this uh, shot we're about to see. But no, it turns out they're flying a drone. But... Yeah, this, this scene here, pay close attention. Yeah, this is... Burn this in your memory. This is actually, this might be more cringe than the DMP getting sand in his crotch. Like, this might actually be worse than him rubbing sand in his genitals. Uh, this this scene is pretty terrible here. We're going to replay it a couple times. They do this terrible, terrible forced fucking dance here. We're going to look at each person individually once at a time. So first, we'll get the full gist. God, first, okay, look at MJR. God, he looks like such a ninny. He's doing this, like, little fucking uh, air hand wave. Like, <laughs> what the hell is that? Then you got Drunken Master Paul, who, like, looks angry almost doing it. Like, I don't know if he looks angry or constipated. Like, he does not look happy. And then this chick in the background who, yeah, literally don't know who it is. The white, the white shirt. Like, she is not into it at all. Like, she realizes how cringe this is. She's like, God help me, just get this over with. And then, yeah, the girl in front, who I also don't really know. Yeah, she's holding the drone. She's the only one who looks decent. But, yeah, so, and then, like, MGR, he pulls up his shorts, too, afterwards. Yeah, oh, my God. I don't know whose dumbass idea it was to do that. But, yeah, I, I really buy this whole party vibe that they're giving off. I'm so envious All right, dude. of this that fucking vacation. Fantastic idea. Oh, DMP, once more. It's the final send-off. Wish that John Riggs and John Hancock could have been here, man. Miss you, buddy. Oh, I know, I know. And you know what? Yeah. We do this again because it was so much fun. And, <laughs> I might be a little bit hungover. You know. Yeah. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of fun was had. Maybe yeah. too much fun. Well, if there was, you didn't film any of it at all. This is the tamest. The oh my god. Okay, screw up. Okay, I'm not even going to play any of this fucking finale shit really here. I'm going to end this video off with saying this is the worst episode of Jersey Shore I've ever seen in my life. Dude, what? <laughs> uh, there's no single chicks. No one getting any action. Nobody going outside. Nobody doing anything. It's a bunch of pasty white nerds. Nobody has a tan going on. Uh, nobody's getting any action. Okay, the closest thing anybody got to... The closest thing the friction I've seen in this entire video is... Yeah, freaking DMP rubbing sand in his privates. Okay, it, it, <laughs> this is terrible. This is, and everybody is just on their phone the whole time. They're not doing fucking anything. They're playing Splatoon and drinking beer, which they could do anywhere. This is such a pathetic vacation. And yeah, look at look at this. Yeah, the, the send off. The weather is so terrible in the background here too. It looks like with the fog. God, this is this is just a miserable experience. Gamer rates, yeah. So people who play video games think they're qualified to rate food. Never understood that. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. This is where DMP. Yeah, God, he's just. You know, fucking a.
Oh yeah, so yeah, let's not forget, yeah, the, the part where DMP gropes another man's wife, yeah. Oh, yeah. Classic scene. <laughs> yeah, that one's actually true. The other Classic scene. Was yeah, well, look at that GameCube fucking tumble, and yeah, MJR's gonna go on to say that, uh, oh yeah, you know, this, uh, this company who made this ga GameCube, uh, HDMI adapter or some shit, yeah, HDMI adapter killed my GameCube. It's not somebody's drunk wife, you know. Freaking getting groped by another man and knocked tumbled that thing down. Oh no. Yeah. A lot of it, so that was very cool. And my wife as well. Oh god, DMP. He's like just the creep. Oh god, the creepy uncle, dude. What the fuck? He acts like a child. All right, guys. He acts like a little boy. Guys, seriously, I need to repeat that. Yeah, for, yeah, the right hand, left hand joke is already. Yeah. Uh, Right, Why does so anybody, like, freaking like this guy? guy? I swear, this guy is the reason why everybody drove separately. Oh, yeah. Cheers. I hope you guys oh, yeah. <laughs> MJR sitting pretzel like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, god. Why is he sitting pretzel legged in shorts? Like, oh, god. Sit like a man. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. At least I when you're being so recorded, like, oh my god. And blessed to know so many cool people within the Seattle retro gaming community. I love having these guys on my channel, and it was a great opportunity. Yeah, you like having them on your channel because you could all reap each other's views, basically. You're like trying to be Spawn Wave, but failing, basically. You're trying to do what they do, except just with retro games specifically, not just, uh, you know, regurgitating gaming news content. But, yeah, I guess we have enough time at the end here to briefly go over the GameCube adapter shit, because, yeah, oh my fuck. <laughs> yeah, that shit needs to be discussed, because I guess that is part of the Beach Vacation Tour here. There is a different video that they did where they play, like, the, they play the biggest loser or something, I don't know, they play some beach games, but I couldn't even stand getting through that video, it's just too, it's too blah, but... Yeah, I guess we'll get into the whole GameCube situation, too, because that's definitely the juiciest part of this. That's <laughs> probably the one juicy scandal that's actually come out of this miserable vacation, uh, beach vacation tour. So I guess we'll talk about that now. But yet, here we are. Yep. Oh, no, MGR. The HDMI adapter killed my GameCube. <laughs> yes. GameCube that was worth $40 at the time of this video. That was the going price of a GameCube. And I'm serious about that. Yeah, it was, it was $40. That's how much these things went for. But, yeah, he's so heartbroken. Oh, my God. You know, it's, it's funny, too, that he gets to cry about his GameCube adapter, too, when really... You know, he knows, yeah, yeah, I really believe the sadness too, especially considering the fact that, yeah, he knows for a fact that he's going to get enough ad revenue off of this video that he's about to make crying about his GameCube to afford at least a thousand GameCubes, okay? But yeah, at the time, that the price they're going for at the time, you could have like made a freaking fortress out of these GameCubes. Uh, but yeah, he, instead of just contacting alert or alerting this company, or, you know, just buying a new GameCube because in all honesty, yeah, like when we saw that GameCube drop from the shelf, like that that thing was hanging on by the fucking cord. Like, it's not unreasonable to assume that, yeah, one of the pins might get disrupted somewhere. If your GameCube is like literally like hanging by a fucking noose. But, yeah, anywho. He decided to make an entire video blasting this to his entire audience over this problem that seems to be really minor. He probably fucked over this company so hard. Videos that I released about a month ago. If you'd have just sent him a message like, yeah, just letting you know this happened, give me your take on it, maybe send me a new GameCube, maybe, you know, do a little bit of repair on this device. No, I'm just going to fucking cry to the world. Awesome. GameCube HDMI adapter. A lot of you yeah. watched that video, but sadly, the tale has turned... Sour. Aww. And that is because Aww. it has Aww. killed my GameCube and I want to talk about Aww, it. Oh, your used video. GameCube. Oh, the quiet quiet face. You, oh. if you have one or if you have one on order. First off, as a refresher, this is it. He's so this sad, he's so heartbroken. Oh my HDMI god. HDMI adapter that plugs into the digital video port that is built into the first generation of GameCubes. And when I got this, I was super excited because it unlocks 
the potential of the GameCube, especially for me since I have a brand new television <laughs> that I bought at Best Buy. Yeah, GameCube as seen here in the yeah, the, God, the the shitty horizontal stacks. That's like MJO's trademark. It's terrible, <laughs> terrible, terrible organization. Or like this, yeah. Oh my God, the double rows too. Yeah, that's that's super cool. Looking for a solution, and this thing is amazing. It's the best way to organize your games is to cover up Every games, day, so you can't even see what you got. With zero problems, it it functions exactly as you would expect. However, what happens? <laughs> I'm all excited about this thing. We go on a road trip. I bring the GameCube with this adapter down to a beach party. Yeah, partying hard. Metal Jesus crew there. Partying hard. I've never seen anybody party this hard in my life. Playing games, and then, and then Kinsey, not her fault. <laughs> not her fault. Yeah, so it's not her fault that she didn't look where the fuck she was going and completely knocked into this cord. I mean, I'm not saying she did it on purpose, but it's her fault. Okay, nobody else chipped over this GameCube but her. Yep, and yeah, DMP going in for the kill. Yeah, okay, yeah, just took a little tumble, you know. It's, it's Yeah, just the, the slightest bit of movement. I think he gets quoted as saying that. Kelsey, oh, dude, Kelsey looks pissed. Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck is that look that she... Is that just me? She, dude, she is stone cold. And yeah, DMP, yeah, is grabbing another man's woman, dude. Yeah, I don't know about you. I would, I, yeah, me as a man who has a girlfriend, I would not be touching another woman that way. And for the record, if somebody touched my girlfriend that way, I would be, you know, weirded out, let's say. But yeah, you know, I guess that's yeah. Oh yeah, well, I need to hear that quote. Yanked it really hard. Yeah, so you can see the thing literally hanging on for dear life from the adapter. Okay, like being held, it's like on a bungee, like it's basically like a fucking bungee. Don't be surprised if the pins fucking move around a little bit in this GameCube when that happens. Okay, what are you talking about? Like it's the company's fault. For that, like it's literally hanging by a fucking noose. Okay, what the hell? Like, I'm pretty sure if somebody ties a, a, a rope around your neck and you fucking fall, and your neck takes the brunt of the fall, like you're gonna die. Okay, it's the same thing with these pins inside the GameCube, it, inside your GameCube. Okay, if they get roughed up this hard, is that it's hanging. This? It moves slightly. He just said he jerked it hard, and now he's saying moved it. It moves slightly, you guys. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? It can short out the other pins that are in there. There's basically yeah, it probably yeah, it probably moved a couple of the pins. It, of course, that's gonna happen. Okay, it's not. It's not like you just okay. If that adapter thingy was in your GameCube and you just like picked up your GameCube and set it a couple like a foot to the side on the counter, like you just moved it gently. And that short-circuited it out? Yeah, that would be on the fault of the company who made this. That would be a faulty prog product. But, like, seriously, if your GameCube is going to fall, you know, like a full two feet, and then yank the fuck back up, like, yeah, a guy jumping off of a bungee, okay, yeah, it's probably going to hurt a pin or two. Don't be surprised. I, I mean, does anyone else agree, disagree? Like, am I off base here? That's the way I see it. It's a $40 GameCube. Quit fucking crying. You made enough money off this video to make a thousand of them. And you're like, yo, oh, these sad faces and crying and tears. Like, shut the fuck so up. I don't buy it. You have to be an idiot to buy it. To another pin and potentially fry your GameCube. And that's exactly what happened. It was very quick. And yeah. the thing that really sucks is, is that, you know, when I did that, that video... You know, I typically don't move my consoles around once they're plugged in. Uh, <laughs> yeah. probably don't either. I think he doesn't move them around, but for a different this reason. This is a case where basically that, you know, uh, we were having a great time. And yeah. Stuff happens. It's definitely not her fault, but it moves. Definitely around. not. <laughs> I think you're, even your own comments, uh, comments section disagrees with you about that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely not her fault. Yeah, he only said that like three times. Yeah. If it moves slightly, even, yeah. God, it takes a lot for MGR's own audience to actually wake up and fucking rib them on shit. Yeah, the GameCube go flying. Yeah, Kinsey, exactly, yeah, Kinsey. 
Oh, it's in the GameCube and HDMI adapter. Yeah. Yep. It wasn't saying it wasn't her fault numerous times. Yeah, there's like... Okay, it takes a lot for MJR also not to um, sweep comments like this under the rug too. Because he will wipe his comments clean anytime he gets criticism about, about anything. He will not hesitate. But, yeah. God. Yep, friend did. Yep, lit, really? <laughs> yep, everybody's calling him out. What are the... Yeah, he's, he's got a fair amount of dislikes on this video as well. Actually, I'm going to remove that dislike. I don't know. I must have disliked that a long fucking time ago, but it's actually it's actually better if you don't dislike videos. It gives them less clout or attention. Uh, dislikes actually contribute to a channel. I'm going to remove that, but... Just enough to fry the GameCube, and so I wanted to bring this... Or when I say... Did I say clout? I mean, well, I, I just mean, like, it gives YouTube the algorithm, like, it pushes your video higher is what I meant. Um, maybe clout's not the right to word be honest, for it. I don't get really bent out of shape... <laughs> Whenever I have new tech in my possession that isn't working perfectly. Yeah, that's it for the end of this video. About That is my full reaction to the Beach House Tour. Uh, yeah, I got so many requests. So here you are. You, you, got your, you got your video out of me about this Beach House Tour video, you filthy animals. So I never have to... I never have to watch this cringe fest ever again. I'm finally free of this burden. I just... <laughs> Oh, God. I guess I'll finish off with, finish it off with this. Why does anybody envy this Metal Jesus crew? Like, what a bunch of thumb-sucking basement-dwelling weirdos, seriously, like, thinks that these guys live the life. I wish I could be NGR. He's such a cool guy. He's such a dope guy. I wish I could hang out with Kenzie and Reggie and, and Hancock. And I just, oh, this is just the dream life. How many, how many shut-in weirdos are there watching these fucking videos? These hundreds of thousands of people that just worship and kiss the ground that these guys walk on. This is not an enviable lifestyle at all. I swear, if it, if it wasn't for YouTube and, yeah, just being in front of the camera and, like, glorifying all this shit, you'd just think this guy was a nerd. You'd think he was a dweeb. I just, I don't get where the, the, the worship comes from, the donating money, the donating games. You're, like, donating games that are worth hundreds of dollars to these guys, these internet heroes with all this fame. When you wouldn't even buy your friend in real life like a $3 cup of coffee. Uh, where does the worship come from? I just Does anybody actually watch this Beach House Vacation and think, Oh my god, that's so cool, this is the life. Like, I look at that and I see a bunch of... I see a midlife crisis. That's what I see out of this, these videos. I, I wouldn't want to be a part of this crew, are you kidding me? Anyway, that's all I gotta say about that matter. I just, yeah, seriously, like, people need to wake up and realize. <laughs> I guess the reality... That is occurring in front of them with with this crew here, but that they're not is not the Jersey Shore. They're not celebrities. Okay, don't envy these people. Don't aspire to be these people. Seriously. Anyway, I'm out. I right, have a good one.